Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to connect your Google account with Integromat so you can use Gmail taking in account the new restrictions that Google has put in place on how users can interact with their API. Please note that this tutorial applies to you if you're an ad gmail.com or an ad googlemail.com user. If you're a G Suite account user, you should have no problem connecting your account very easily through the Integromat Gmail app. In order to make this connection possible, you will first have to create a custom OAuth client, which might sound quite complex and technical, but don't worry, this video will guide you step by step through the process. The first step is to open a new browser window and search for the Google Cloud Platform Console. Alternatively, you can go directly to this URL, console.cloud.google.com. Once the page loads, you will first be asked to log in with your Google account. Make sure that this is the Google account you want to connect with Integromat. Once you have successfully logged in, you will be redirected to this page. If it's your first time here, you will be asked to select your country and agree to Google's terms and conditions. What you have to do next is open the sidebar navigation menu, hover over the APIs and services option and select dashboard. The next step is to create a new project. Simply click on the create project button here. Please note that if you already have existing projects, you might not see the create project button here. You will first have to click on this drop down menu and then click on the new project button here. When creating a new project, you will be first asked to enter the project name, which can be anything you like, for example, Integromat Google Integration. You can then click on Create to create this project. Great. The next step is to enable the Gmail API under this project. This is what will give permission to Integromat to control your Gmail account. Click on Enable APIs and Services. And then here you can search for the API you want to enable. In this case, that will be the Gmail API. Click Enable to enable the selected API. As you can see, the Gmail API is now added to this project. You now have to open the sidebar navigation menu and hover over APIs and services. This time you need to select the OAuth consent screen option to proceed. On this page, click external. Great. This is the screen where you can define the permissions that Integromat will have when using this API with your Gmail account. Let's start by entering Integromat in the application name field. For user support email, select your email from the list. Next, scroll down to the authorized domain section and click on add domain. Enter Integromat.com. For developer contact information, simply enter your email since this is your personal project. Great, now let's add some scopes to specify the permissions Integromat will have. Click Add Scope in order to set the permissions. Now it's time to select the different actions you would like Integromat to perform using your Gmail account. First, let's filter this table so it only displays the Gmail API scopes. Now, select the following scopes. Mail.google.com Gmail.modify Gmail.compose Gmail.readonly Gmail.metadata Gmail.insert gmail.send, gmail.labels. With this list of options selected, you will be able to use all the Gmail account functions inside your Integromat scenarios and create some really powerful automations. Click Update to proceed. Now click on Save and Continue. 
In this section, you simply need to click add users and enter your Gmail. Once you do that, click add. Click save and continue. Now scroll all the way to the bottom of this page and click back to dashboard. Great, you're almost there. Now let's set up some credentials. Click on the credentials option on the sidebar and then click create credentials followed by selecting the OAuth client ID option. Now let's fill out this short form. Application type will be web application. For name, let's enter Integromat. Finally, scroll down to the field with title Authorized Redirect URIs and click Add URI. In this field, you need to type the following URI. HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash www.integromat.com forward slash OAuth forward slash CB forward slash Google dash restricted. Finally, click on the create button below. If you've made it this far, well done. As you can see, a client ID and a client secret key have been successfully created. There's only one more step to go, and that is to connect your Google account with Integromat using these credentials. Let's head over to an Integromat scenario. Let's select the Gmail app and click on the Add button in order to create a new connection. Enter a connection name you prefer. For this example, let's have Integromat Google account. And then you need to click on Show Advanced Settings in order to enter the client ID and client secret key obtained from the Google Developers Console. Perfect. Now click on Continue to begin the connection process. Here you need to select the same Google account you sign in to the Google Developers Console with, because this is the account that is now configured to work with Integromat. Once you choose your Google account, a new page will open saying that this app is not verified. If the page looks like this, simply click continue. If it looks like this, click on the advanced link followed by go to Integromat. You will then be prompted to grant permissions to Integromat to use your account. Click allow. You will then be presented with all the scope choices you previously set in your developer's console. Click allow. Congratulations, the connection to your Google account API has now been made. You're now able to use all the Gmail modules and automate your workflows as usual. This tutorial was quite technical, so if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to our support team. We're always here to help. Happy automating.